Four and a half months after last November's campfire, Butte County's road to recovery is well underway. With vast areas of the county destroyed beyond recognition, the recovery efforts are currently focused on three key areas, debris removal, housing for the survivors, and the restoration of the town of Paradise's water system. In Southern California, the phase two debris removal operation is making considerable progress in the aftermath of the Woolsey and Hill fires. To date, state crews have cleared 243 damaged parcels. Contractors are also completing erosion control work on the cleared properties and have tested the soil at each property to determine if it meets health and environmental safety standards. In Northern California, phase one household hazardous waste removal is complete. And after a short delay due to the unsafe weather conditions and oversaturated soil, the state's consolidated debris removal program resumed operations earlier this week. 90 debris removal crews are in the field making progress. More than 116,000 tons of debris have been removed, 5,988 sites have been assessed, and the crews have cleared more than 400 sites. Here's a quick snapshot of the amount of debris removed so far. Housing for survivors is also a top priority after the campfire destroyed more than 13,000 homes. Currently, 229 units are being occupied by survivors at commercial locations. 169 families are staying in hotels and motels under the Transitional Sheltering Assistance Program. 30 of those survivors have already been able to secure permanent housing. There are also five temporary community housing sites currently being finalized. Those five sites will provide a short-term housing solution for approximately 1,300 families. As of March of this month, FEMA has approved over $71 million for campfire survivors in need of disaster assistance, and the U.S. Small Business Administration has approved low-interest disaster loans for 3,500 applicants, totaling nearly $392 million in assistance. Clean drinking water is also a top priority for recovery. Much of the water system in the campfire burn area was severely damaged, so Cal OES is supporting the Town of Paradise and the Paradise Irrigation District to provide potable water to both the current residents of Paradise and those eager to return. The Paradise Irrigation District made a plan to tackle the issues affecting their water system. A community meeting will be held on March the 26th at the Paradise Alliance Church. There'll be an update of the current water system status and updated plans for clean water going forward. Residents will also have a chance to ask questions and voice their concerns. You can stay updated on campfire recovery efforts through the Cal OES Newsroom at oesnews.com or by visiting one of the following sites.